I'm, I'm Rosemary Monaghan. <laughs> I'm Parthi Monaghan. Well, welcome, uh, welcome to Tunisia. Um, you're here on an archaeological tour. Uh, can you share some of your impressions, not only of Tunisia, what you're seeing in terms of archaeology, but you both are widely traveled, maybe a little to let people know what you're seeing here in, in comparison to other countries that have a, a wealth of archaeology. The uh, archaeology here in Tunis, Tunisia is wonderful. There's just so much. It goes back so far, and there's there are remains everywhere. So that, as our leader said, uh, if you dig, you find something. So and it's a really great combination of old world and then developing world. And in in what way is it? What is there anything about Tunisia that? meets the expectations you had, or do you think you had some uh, notions that were that were different than what you're now experiencing? Anything in that respect? What did you expect, Parthi? <laughs> I had not been to a lot of ruins in Italy. I have been to some in Greece, but the ones that are in Tunisia are in such perfect shape. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I'm not good at sound bites. <laughs> they are wonderful. They're, I have dug in various countries so that uh, to see these here, you can just imagine how exciting it is for an archaeologist to dig and come upon one of those mosaics and then to keep digging out from it and finding all those beautiful, beautiful uh, they look like rugs that would be in a person's house. And then you find the rest of the house at that level, so it's really exciting. Now, how many other Americans have you run into in the uh, little more than a week that you've been here, or roughly a week? We ran into Americans in this hotel, certainly there are a lot, but not very many anywhere else, did we find? I haven't seen many. With, with the perceptions that some Americans have about countries in the Middle East and North Africa, particularly after the Arab Spring and now we're a year and a half after Tunisia's revolution. Can you share anything about your feelings about safety, security? Uh, does it seem like a country going through a revolution? I haven't really noticed anything that has caused me to be concerned. And I've traveled around other places in the world, including the United States, where I have felt like I had to keep a much better watch on my belongings. And last night we went for a walk up the street for about an hour, and I never felt uh, any you know, concern about being safe. And safety in the hotel is, has been fine. And yeah, you always feel like you can go to sleep at night, leaving the window open or the doors open onto the little patio. And life goes on always when there's a revolution going on. It just seems like everybody's lives are just going on. There was, was some disruption just with our route because of some, it was a sit-in, sit but that didn't harm us in any way. It just meant we had to go around in circles to get where we wanted to go. But it's not anything that was dangerous. Well, it sounds like you're having a good time here. And uh, we appreciate that you've shared a little bit with us about your experience. And uh, we hope you continue enjoying your stay here.